Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Today, our topic is very simple, but it's very complicated. Um, from the start, you just I want to inform people, like you know, please don't forget to subscribe to my other channel, which we are posting for you uh, always in the chat and down in the info, um, because soon we will. Like I did not move to the other channel yet because still very few of you are subscribing to that channel. So please don't forget. Uh, I noticed uh, today when I started the broadcast, a commercial play played, and it's for Islamic charity. Actually, the same Islamic charity, the one it appeared in the commercial, uh, is the same uh, Al Qaeda in Syria. They get their fund, or let us say, their food from. So I don't know this charity is going to who exactly, but I saw with my own eyes a video. Uh, where they capture Al Qaeda headquarter, it was full of food sent by this Islamic charity. It's, like, it's called Islamic Relief USA. Uh, just uh, a comment about with this uh, this commercial. Now, today topic is about Allah. Muslims they keep saying to us that they have a God, and His name is Allah. As long you don't ask them. What this is mean? I mean, everything is good. The second you go deep, no one to answer. And today we are going to show you, and we are going to make an open challenge. I have my pal talk open. Who is the brave Muslim who can give us the truth and the answer about who is Allah? Who is the brave Muslim? The Muslim who have a knowledge. You see, Muslims are people who they are cheated, cheated on. Muhammad, he cheated on them. All of them, they copy paste, but nobody knows what he is copying and what he is pasting. A Muslim person is the same as a person. He is married to four, but all of them, they are cheating on him, and he is the last one to know. Muhammad cheated on him. Allah cheated on him. Uthman cheat on him, Aisha she cheat on them, and we are here to prove it. Because after all those who spoke about Allah, not yet even one of them can tell us who is Allah. You ask a Muslim who is Allah, he will tell you he is the creator. I did not ask you what he do. Who is Allah? What the word Allah mean? They do not know. Which is a proving that Allah is a foreign word stolen from somebody else's religion otherwise there is no way that you follow god but yet you do not know what the word mean if we go to islamic websites you will see all kind of funny articles and none of them give us anything this is the dean show the dean show website what does what does the word allah mean Okay, when you go onto the Dean show, and this is supposedly an Islamic TV stations, they are specialized specialized in in in, uh, in fabricating and lying to you to convert you to Islam. I mean, at least they can answer such a question. It's a very simple question. Description: Do Muslims worship the same God as the Jews and the Christians? What does the word Allah mean? Is Allah the Moon God? Okay, the biggest mis uh, some of the biggest misconception that many non-Muslims have about Islam have to do with the word Allah for various reasons. Many people come to believe Muslims worship different God than the Christian and the Jews. That is totally false. Since Allah is simply the word of God, the word for God. Now, I challenge any Muslim to say I agree with this. Just to show you that Muslims, even even Muslim, don't agree with those liars. Who is a Muslim agree with this? That Allah is just a word mean God. Just to show you how they openly they lie. Who is a Muslim, Abdul? He agree with this statement that Allah simply is the word for God, the word a God in Arabic. Any Abdul? No. 
this is stupid because if Allah means God then we can say in the Shahada the when the Muslim they say Shahada which means witnessing to Islam or to Allah they, you can say there's no Allah but Allah can we say that can we say there's no Allah but Allah that is would be the most funny statement ever there's no zucchini but zucchini There's no Mr. Bean except Mr. Bean. There's no potato but potato. Uh, the word, the word uh, God in Arabic, Arabic is not a language by itself. Arabic is not a language. All the words you see in Arabic, those are this is there's nothing called really Arabic. Arabic is, let us say, a counterfeit of the Aramaic. And mixed with other languages like some Hebrew, some Ethiopian, some Persian, some, some, some. But there's nothing that's called really Arabic. So the person who's asking me, does the word Rub mean the word mean God in Arabic? Rub is not even an Arabic word. This is this is an Aramaic and used in the Hebrew. You say Rabbi, right? Rabbi. Rabbi, this is from the Aramaic, Rab. And Ro, the word Rab can be used for God, can be used for the Lord of the house, can be used for a master. Like in Arabic, we say, Rabab wa Rabbatul Bayti, Tasubbul Khalaf al Zayti, Laha Ashru Dajajatin, Wadikun Hassan al Sauti. Rabab wa Rabbatul Bayti. Rabab is a woman. She is the Rab of the house. So she is the lady of the house. Here, the word Rab come as. Lord of the house, she's a female. So who is the Muslim when I tell us what the word Allah mean? Any Abdul? Look at them. Not a single Abdul. I have my pal talk open if there is any Muslim he have the courage especially if you are a sheik I like the sheik the sheik is my favorite snack no ilah have nothing to do with Allah that is that is not true that is not true and I hear even some Christians which I know them very well they even they say the same mistake which is a stupid mistake And we explain to you before why I have a video to explain to you what is Allah is about if you have my books you can read too so I will show you how Muslims they lie even from their own website look in here in this website they say what they say Allah is simply is the word for God in Arabic correct that's what it says we go to the front website the story change different website Allah the unique name of God so there it was just a word mean God which mean even somebody is a Hindu he can use it <laughs> right a Muslim he might come to you and says Christian Prince is lying to you I can show you in the Arabic Bible they use the word Allah that is a false translation two years ago the court in Malaysia they forced Christian not to use the word Allah in their churches because this is a name for God of Islam and is not allowed for Christians to use. And you can go and search in Google right now. So who is a Muslim when I tell us who is Allah? And please don't forget to subscribe to my other channel. The, the admins, they are posting the link for you. Uh, you know, we are trying to put this account for, for asleep for some time. So we can get more people as backup there. But until now, we have like few of you subscribe. I don't know why. Don't forget, please. So do we have any Muslim here? Any Muhammadan? Allah, Allah is obviously, it's an Aramaic, yes. But it's not one word. And we explained to you before. If we go in the Quran,
we will find the following. In chapter 53, you see here the translation, it says, have you seen Lat and the Uzza? That is stupid translation, this is false. It doesn't say that. Let us change the translator and you will see how things change. Let us go to different, you know, different donkey. Look, we just changed the Abdul and the words change. It's not lat no more. It is al lat. Do you see it? Al lat. So why in the other translator that is gone? Al lat. Who is lat? Lat is one of the daughters of Allah. It's a goddess, female goddess. What then? What is al? Al is a word mean God. Al Lat, God Lat. Al Uzza, God Uzza. Now we come to arrive to Allah. Al. Allah. Al Lah. God Lah. Lah, you can go right now and search and you will find that Lah is the moon god. Now there is a very famous, uh, 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 the, the, he, he claimed to be Christian, his name is uh, Muhammad James White. He said that Allah is not the moon god. Why? Because there is a verse in the Quran that says don't worship the moon. I mean this guy is obviously, he is certified idiot like Muhammad. The moon god is not worshipping the moon. It's worshipping the god of the moon. Here, and this is my challenge to any Abdul, what behind, or what is behind, Allah having three daughters? Anyone can tell me? Who is the religion what is the religion exactly which believe and why and how Allah get three daughters? The answer is very simple. The moon god married from the sun god, they have three daughters. As simple as that. Who is the sun god? Anyone knows? Who is the sun god? Akbar Akbar is the sun god Allahu Akbar Allahu who Akbar Allah and Akbar they became one god they got they have six together they became united and they have three daughters how we can prove from the Quran not using hadith or anything so the Muslim they will not say oh this is weak and this is you know the garbage they say also to us if we go in the Quran we will find the story supposedly it's about Abraham Abraham, he was worshipping Akbar himself. What is Akbar? Ashams, the sun. Hada Rabbi. Hada Akbar. Here in the translation, they didn't really give you the translation correctly. Let us change the translator. Go to different donkey. Look here what they say. When he saw the sun rising, he said, this is my Lord, this is a greater. So they translate the word Akbar to greater. No, it's not the greater. It says Hada Akbar. Greater in Arabic, Azam. Everyone who speaks Arabic he knew that the word Azam is greater. Akbar is not a greater. Akbar always it's either about size 
or about age you know like something like that like I can say that this guy Akbar from this guy I'm talking about two men so I'm talking about their age usually or I can talk about size between two objects Akbar is the name for the bigger God the Arab they used to have a status for Akbar and he is the biggest God he is Akbar so when Abraham he saw the Sun coming up he said this is my God this is Akbar you notice here Abraham he did not call the moon Akbar he said when he saw the moon he said this is Akbar this he did not say this is Akbar he said this is my Lord this is Rabbi so he saw the moon he did not say this is the uh, as the Muslim translate the greatest you see he did not say that he said this is my Lord but which one is more bigger for us by by naked eyes the moon or the Sun which can appear bigger in our naked eyes to us the moon or the Sun I think the moon will appear bigger right no, if you look in the, you know, sometimes the moon is so close to us, would look will look a lot bigger. But in, in scientifically, as yes, the science is a lot bigger, we cannot compare. But by the naked eyes, if you look, the moon is bigger. But yet Abraham, he did not say, "This is my God. This is bigger." So why he used the word Akbar? Why he did not use the word Akbar with the moon, but he used the word Akbar with the sun? Because this is the name of the sun, the god of the sun, Akbar. So the god of the sun have sex with the god of the moon, and they have three daughters, Alat and Al Uzza and Manat. Ask any Muslim, okay, where who is the who is okay, if Allah he have three daughters, who is the wife? You know, what I mean, the Muslim they don't believe, by the way, that Allah have three daughters. I'm not saying that now. So Muhammad, he Muhammad, he rejected Allah to have three daughters. But this is not the case now. We are talking about what is the root of this religion, the root of this God, Allah. The Arab when they believed that Muhammad, uh, Muhammad, by the way, was believing in this for forty years. Forty years believe Allah have three daughters. He start associating with none, you know, like other religion. He associate with the Jews, with the Nasara, with the Sabian, and then that start changing his mind. So he converted to other belief, and he mixed them up together. But we need to ask ourselves: the Arab who believe that Allah have three daughters, what the Arab believe? Where the three daughters is coming from? Allah deliver them. Allah get the bread net and get and deliver the babies. Do you understand what I'm saying? If Fahim is asking uh, Allah how he created the sun, your God cannot create a, 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 a mosquito. I mean, uh, Fahim, your God created anything? If your God created anything, he should know how he created things. Have you ever heard of somebody he created the man? He think the man's sperm coming from the backbone. I mean, your God is the most stupid creator ever I heard of. He is the one who created the man, but you do not know how the man is made. He is the one who created the earth and the heaven, but yet you don't remember which one he created first. Allah created me. You have to prove it. You see, we have a proof in the Quran that Jesus is a creator. But we have no proof whatsoever from the Muslims that Allah can do anything. The whole Quran keeps saying that Allah, Allah, the, the people keep asking Muhammad, give us a miracle. They, he cannot, he don't have. Not only that, the God of Islam, he explained why he cannot give miracle. He said, I am uh, joining the yellow vest. I have a strike. Have you ever heard of a God saying such a thing? Chapter 17, verse number 
and nothing stop us from sending ayat proves evidence signs but people before all deny them that's stupid so Allah he sent 124,000 prophet according to Muhammad and now and in the last prophet he stopped giving signs So if you want to tell me that Allah he is a he's a God of miracle that's mean Allah is a liar look he said he's, he's I, I stop I'm not going to give any sign do you see Muslims how in the world Allah says nothing stop us from sending signs except people don't believe in the old one that's false the Christian believe in the old ones the Jews they believe in the old ones who is the one don't believe who is the Jew who don't believe in the miracles of Moses who is the Christian do not believe in the miracle of Jesus on all the prophets before that's a lie but because he is a false prophet present a false God who cannot support him with any sign so he have to give an excuse saying that my God is in a strike he joined the yellow pages in Paris Otherwise, this is stupid and how the Muslim they say the Quran itself is a sign It's a miracle when the Quran is saying we refrain from giving signs By saying that you just made a sign Do we have any Muslim have the courage and the knowledge to give me a call? If you if you like to speak to me live, please give me your ID in Pal Talk, and I will call you. And don't worry, whatever happened in Vegas will stay in Vegas. I understand you know nothing. You Muslims, you are worshiping a false god. You know nothing about him. Hmm? If Christian prince have guts to debate Zach and Naik, my friend. You see, why you don't say the same for Zakir Naik? I offer Zakir Naik to debate me, and I made a video about it. And I offer all the Muslim scholars to debate me, but they don't have a guts to debate me. Guys, do you know any name ever he speak in public, and I did not challenge him to debate me? Your Zakir Naik is a potato. I will not even accept him for a snack. Not even for a snack. He is not enough for me. What's Zakir Naik? Zakir Naik, he know nothing. Zakir Naik, they ask him, a female, she asked him, uh, why in Islam, or the, the men, they will get whore, and the, the women, they will not get whore. He said, Brother Fitter, Fitter, they ask a question. Why in Islam, women, they will not get nothing? This is absolutely not true. Because the word whore is a plural name. Which means, sister, inshallah, you are going to get 72 who too. <coughs> what a donkey. The word whore is male and female. <coughs> Sorry, guys, my sound, my voice is tired. If we go in the Quran, we will see in two seconds how we can get this guy busted. He's an idiot. He's a stupid. He is no scholar. Reward whore. Clearly, it's a female. Chapter 55, verse 56. Chapter 55, verse number 74. Here, <coughs> anyone who speaks Arabic, let me get some water. <coughs> All right, sorry for that. My throat is dry. Anyone who speak Arabic, he knew that this the, the, the letter here at the end of the words, this in Arabic, noon, this letter added only for females. The second you see that it's called noon and nuswa, noon and nuswa, which mean noon of females. Noon Al Niswa
So this guy not only stupid, he is a donkey. But the question is, how many donkeys watching this donkey and not even one of them he put his hand up to say to him you are stupid or what? Even the verse in the Quran it says that not even a single person did touch their vagina, you idiot. And their vagina is not excuse my language. They did not have intercourse and nobody broke in their hymen, the, 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 the skin of the virgin. And yet this guy, in the front of 10,000 people, he said, what we heard. This, is, th this guy is not only a stupid, he is literally a donkey. Do you see the translation? So when you say to me, Zakir Naik, at least bring me somebody, he knows what he's talking about. This guy did that, he don't speak Arabic. I, I made a video about it. He himself did that, he said, I have a guy who is translating what I am saying to Arab people because I don't speak Arabic. Did that don't speak Arabic? Zakir Naik don't speak Arabic. Yet they want to teach us what it's mean in Arabic. All right. Well, talk is cheap. I prove it, my friend. Hmm. Absolutely, talk is cheap. I challenge you to find me one Muslim scholar there to do what I do. I have my line open to anyone to call me. Talk is it cheap. If you are the only one in this stage and nobody there to get you busted, you win. Here we go. Let Zachary Naik make an ID. I will call him and you'll be listening. Talk is cheap. He would never dare to do so. All of you Muslims, you want to debate only either American or English people or German who don't speak Arabic. Look how many people they are lined up to debate David Wood. Shabir Ali want to debate David Wood. Mimi Hijab, his nurse. Everybody want to debate me. But nobody want to debate me. Why? Did you ask yourself why? Yeah, my room is a stage because people they need my answer they don't need to see me what's wrong this is the biggest stage ever in two seconds i have 700 800 people they are watching in a stage maximum you can have a 300 400 soon we will have by the end of the tomorrow we will have 20,000 people watch the videos if it's a debate by in less than 24 hours you will have 100,000 people saw the video this is the biggest stage ever what's your problem Do we have any Abdul? And look at them. They cannot answer me. They cannot debate me. They complain and they call me names. Your room is your stage. My room is my stage. Still, you cannot debate me. If I am in my room, still, you can't answer me. What you would do if I am not in my room? Right now, I'm wearing my short, and you cannot answer me. What if I, I what if I, I dress my trouser? <laughs> I am relaxed, and your God is being humiliated, and you cannot defeat me, and you cannot answer me, and you cannot refute me. And look at you. We started the program half hour ago saying, who is Allah? Not even a single one of you can tell us who's Allah. You go in a circle like ants around the Kaaba, yet you do not know why. Why you go around the Kaaba? Ask them. They don't know why. Why you go around the Kaaba? They don't know. Why the pig is forbidden Islam? They do not know. Why Muhammad was fasting three days? They do not know. Why Muhammad exchanged the fasting of three days to 30 days of Ramadan? They do not know. What the mean of Mary? They do not know. What the mean of Asa? They do not know. What the mean of Musa? They do not know. Israel? They do not know. Jibreel? They do not know. Mikael? They do not know. They know nothing. This is 100% ignorant, stupid cult. Copy, paste. Not a single one knows what he's talking about. And look at them. You go to Muslim website, one of them he says, Allah is a word mean God. Other website says, no, Allah is a word as a name of Allah, a unique name for Allah. 
You go to the other side, he said something different. Look at them. I mean, they cannot give the same answer for the name of their God. Have you ever heard of such a confused religion? Is Allah a word mean God or Allah is a personal name of God? Why each one of you he gave us different answer? I will tell you why because none of you knows what he's talking about. <coughs> hmm? Because slaves do not do as they uh, told don't think. Yeah, I agree with you. They are a slave of Allah. Even the Quran says that Allah He created mankind for one purpose, is just to worship Allah, to be His three slaves. Hmm. So, do we have any Muslim want to say something? I have my pal talk open. I'm willing to call you in a second if you can give me your ID, and we would like to hear your voice if you have something smart to say. Who dare? Who dare? Who is a Muslim scholar? He have a beard, big beard. He is willing to call us. Any Muslim with a beard? Okay, as long we are out of Muslims with beard. Who is a Muslim without beard? He can call us. Okay, we are out of Muslims who have no beard too. Okay, what about a Muslim? He have no beard, he have no mustache. All right, we are out of Muslims who have mustache. So what about a Muslim Muslim now? As long as the male, the male Muslims are not there, they are gone. They are history. They are in the museum. Who is the Muslim I can call us and tell us who is Allah? No Muslims. Not even one. What happened? Something fishy here. I mean, is that how hard the question is? Who is Allah? What the name? What the word Allah mean? I mean, look what we ask. How you want me to convert to a religion? You yourself, you do not know what the name of your God means. Don't ask Fahim to call me. Fahim, he called me before, to be honest with you, and he played for me love songs. You believe it? A Muslim male called me live in YouTube, and he played for me love songs. He's in love. Any Muslim who would like to call me, but he is not in love, Straight person who don't like meals. Anyone? Uh, I don't know. It was uh, I, I hang up on him. I mean, stupid. You can ask him. He's here. So where is the Muslims? So look at this cult. They do not know. Okay, what manat mean? Guys, what manat mean? Let me show you how stupid this cult is. Okay. It says a lot. What a lot mean? Who is a Muslim can tell us what a lot mean? Hello? Hello? Okay, what manat mean? Hello? They don't know what Al Uzza mean. They do not know what Ibrahim mean. They do not know what Moses says mean. They do not know what Allah means. They do not know Jibreel, Israel, Mikael, Israfil, Isa, Maryam, Aaron. They do not know. Not only they do not know, even their God, they do not know. Right? <clears throat> I 
Uh, I made a video, uh, Raiba125. I made two or three videos about that. You can go and watch it. The whole video is about this. I don't want to repeat it again. Any Abdul? My pal talk is open, and I see no Abdul is even try to call me. Do you see it? I am online, Abdul. I have only one person who left Islam yesterday. He contacted me. You remember him, guys? The ex-Muslim who left Islam and accepted Jesus yesterday. Where is the Abdul? Yesterday, we have like three, four people who left Islam. That's wonderful. Any brave Muslim? Yeah, and the one who said to me, I have a family. You know, I mean, I look at this. I mean, you say to them, okay, Islam is a stupid. Do you agree? And he says, but are you telling me to leave Islam? I have a family. So he agrees Islam is a stupid. Actually, not only a fatwa against talking to Christian prince, the Quran says that. But let me tell you, once the Muslims, they made an article. I cannot find this article. I made a video about it a long, long time ago. They are, they are saying, if a Christian prince asks you a question, never say yes, never say no. Because whatever he say, he will get you busted. If he, Even if he say the prophet was a good man, don't say yes. And don't say no. So what, how we can talk? You talk to Christian prince, never say yes, never say no. Because whatever he say, he he he's, he he like he prepares something for you. So how we can debate? This is why you see Muslims when they when I talk to them, they say like, "What do you mean? What is your point?" He, he don't want to answer because you know, you know, like, "What's your point?" They would do to my point. This is my question: Yes or no? What's your point? What's your point? Any Abdul? Okay, look like this topic is very hard. No, no not even a Muslim, he knows what Allah means. They do not know what the word is coming from, and everybody, he fabricates his own story. You go to Wakabidia, the Muslim Abdul, they would dare that word Allah is coming from Ilah, which is absolutely false. The, in the Muslim, in the Deen show, they say to you, the word Allah simply is a simple word for Arabic of God. This is the Deen show. You go to the other website, Al Islam. Al what? Al Islam. They say to you a different story. They say, Allah is a personal name of God. Uh -huh. You go to Ahmadiyya. Ahmadiyya, they say to you, Allah is a unique name of God. So each one of them, he give you a different answer. Hmm? The same word I use is going to hunt me in the court, CP, Enoch. Well, don't forget, don't worry about me, my friend. Whatever court you are talking about, hunt me in the court. Please hunt me. What court, you idiot? Do we have any Muslim here? Do you think I live in Malaysia or in Somalia? Any Abdul? <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Any Muslim? I think I have not typed correctly. It's okay. It's okay. Allah Himself, you don't type correctly. Have you ever heard who who here speak Arabic? Who here speak Arabic? I mean, 
I never heard of a God he write the word Hayat like this. If I type it correctly, actually, I cannot find it. I can't even find it in the word. I think maybe here in this website they correct it. <coughs> this is the correct way to write the word Hayat. But the God of Islam, he write it wrongly. He write Hayawanat, Hayawat. Any Muslim? Hello? Have you ever heard of a God who do not know how to write Arabic? I mean, send him to school. The God of Islam, once he say Ibrahim, once he say Abraham. Have you ever heard of a God who do not know how, what the name correctly is? Is it Abraham or Ibrahim? Let it go, let it go. So, do we have any Muslim? I don't talk much about Arabic, by the way, because, you know, I mean, maybe, I don't know, maybe one or two of you speak Arabic, the rest they don't. So, uh, you know, for me, this is not a good topic to talk about unless people speak, the, the audience, they speak Arabic. But anyway, the, the Quran is, is a stupid book. They do not know who is the God of Islam. They say to us, Allah is one God. And, okay, he's one, one what? Satan is one. Ah, I forgot in Islam Satan he have sex with himself and he lay anyone anyone remember how many eggs? How many eggs Satan he lay down? The only religion who believed that Satan he have a penis in the right leg and a vagina in the left leg is Islam. Anyone knows why? Why this confusion? Where where is coming from? Let me show you. If you are under the age, my friend, please leave the chat. Under age four. If you are a Muslim, you are six years old, you are mature. Aisha, she was mature at the age of six, as Muslims they claim. And not only that, she was dating a guy at the age of four. Uh huh. And she had big, huge breast at the age of two. This is what they say to us. True story. Yeah. Now. Uh, <clears throat> Muhammad in the Quran he claimed that shaitan he have children shaitan he have a children now the Muslims they want to explain how shaitan he have a children I mean Allah supposedly uh, he kicked only Adam and Eve and Satan Satan only three 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 person from heaven So shaitan he got married from who Any Muslim knows Any Muslim Actually, there's a video. I wish I can show you the video. It's a cartoon made by the Muslims about how Shaitan he get his kids. Any Abdul? So the Muslims, in order to cover to cover the mistake in the Quran, because Allah did not say he kicked 
Satan and uh, a female Satan from heaven he kicked only Satan out of heaven and uh, Eve and Adam so yes Eve and Adam they are male and female so so how the Muslims when I explain that shaitan suddenly he came he, you know he had babies so they come to a new story that Allah brother he created for shaitan the first shaitan only he created for him a penis in the right leg and a vagina in the left leg so when he wanna if himself a brother he shake his legs don't shake your legs if you are shaking your legs obviously you are doing something I know you is that true Muslims are making things up I can show the reference any Muslim want to say to me you're a liar and he was willing to call me and challenge me to show it Shaitan seeds Shaitan he have a he do boom boom too what do you mean Shaitan seeds Muslims Allah he kicked only one Shaitan from the heaven how Shaitan he got to have seeds first time I learned the word boom boom it was in Asia you walk in the street and say sir do you want to do boom boom I was like what the boom boom is that here we go Chaitan he was doing boom boom the first time I learned about the word monkey business you see uh, like you 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 learn when you travel you learn uh, once uh, a, a female in the Philippines she uh, approached me said sir do you like no no she did not say she so she is sitting next to me in the in the coffee shop so like she you know she want to talk she's looking for a customer obviously she's a she's a prostitute uh said hi sir i said hi uh where, where are you from you know so i told her what do you do for a living uh, she said i do uh and work in the monkey business i said so you work like you work in the zoo she started laughing and people around because everybody can hear us uh, <laughs> oh God oh God sorry you are very funny you are very funny <laughs> and I was saying what is that monkey business thing I mean obviously she work in the zoo I mean what what monkey business mean monkey business she said no I said so it's not a zoo so like what do you do you sell the monkeys or what I said come on sir you do not know what monkey business I, honestly I do not know what the monkey business is <laughs> I never the only monkey business I have is in the front of me now a shaitan if in himself Later I learned that she is a prostitute. This is what they call it there monkey business Any Abdul Who is a Muslim would like to tell us how shaitan he got his seeds, his babies? What's happened to the Muslim today? Why are, do we have a strike or something? So the only good thing about them, they scream Allahu Akbar. Anything else they do not know. Ask no questions. Or what they know, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Alhamdulillah. You go left, you go right, we do not know. Ask no questions. Actually, even the Quran says, ask no questions. You know that, right? Anyone knows which verse? Which verse it says, ask no questions? Anyone knows? Eighteen fifty. What eighteen fifty? <clears throat> Any Muslim? Oh, you believe us nothing, us not for things which is if if uh, if they are we are made unto you. Would it trouble you? I mean, the translation is really weird. 
They just changed it. This guy is a is certified donkey the translator, this big tad. I mean, this big tad is something. Let us see different translation. Let us see this donkey. Oh, who you believe ask not questions about which things is made plain to you. Okay. I mean, how smart that is. If I don't ask questions about things are plain to me, I will ask questions about things are clear to me. I mean, do you see how stupid this verse is? If I should not ask questions about things made plain to me, shall I ask questions about things are clear to me? I thought the questions is about things which we do not know. That's why we ask about it. If they are clear for us, why would I ask? Any Abdul? Hello? Brothers and sisters, don't ask questions about things are not clear, brother. Ask questions about things are clear. As an example, brother, ask me a question if it's okay to shave your under your arm, brother. But don't ask me, brother, what the word Allah mean. Hey, brother, don't ask me why Allah have five fingers. Hey, brother, don't ask me why Allah will expose his shin. Hey, brother, don't tell me why Allah is going to change his shape. Hey, brother, ask me no question which is sensitive, brother. Ask me any question which is silly and stupid. As an example, brother, you can ask me, is it okay for me, brother, to eat ice cream with my wife or she will be forbidden for me if I eat ice cream with her? Open Islamic TV and die laughing. Once uh, a Muslim female, obviously she is making fun of them. And obviously she is, you know, weirdo, you know. Uh, you know, like she's obviously she's not a good girl from her voice. Anyway, she called the TV station and she said, Assalamu alaikum. And the sheikh, there's two guys, the host and the sheikh. Uh, alaikum assalam, sister. Like right away, like the, the, the second they hear a female voice, like they get so excited. And then she starts telling her story. Said, I have a story to tell you. Uh, my sister told me that when I take off my clothes, in the front of the fifth tank, the fifth, they get so excited that they start taking, and she is speaking in a female voice, like seducing, you know? And the sheikh, he grab a cup of water and he smuggle all the water in his 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 his, uh, his, uh, uh, his mouth. And he and the other guy is sweating. And he said, <clears throat> uh, so sister, uh, when you take off your clothes, uh, the, 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 the fish, they start uh, shaking in the fish uh, tank in a... Uh, Yes, uh, I'm telling you, this is true. This is what happened. By the way, I'm very beautiful. The sheikh is doing it in his panty. Like he's almost, he is, he's sweating, he's shaking. And then he, so he have to come with a solution now. He said, sister, I advise you not to take off your clothes in the front of the fish tank because obviously those are a genie fish and they are looking at your beautiful, pure body, sister. And then she said, but what I will do, this is the only room I have. The guy now, he have to jump to the answer, show how intelligent he is. He said, sister, what about you cover the fish tank with the blanket? This is Islamic TV. This whore, she is calling the TV to seduce all the men. And God knows what happened to those men who they are going crazy with this woman. Talking about her getting naked in the front of the fish tank and the fish, they start shaking. What they are doing? What do you mean the fish start shaking? Are they masturbating or they have orgasm? And the sheikh, because Allah gave him wisdom, as you know, he told her those arms must be genie. And they are like doing, you know, boom, boom. So sister, you cannot do that. Haram, haram. You can do it in my room, not in their room, sister. This is what Islamic TV is for. All serious question, they will shut you up. They will tell you, don't ever talk about it again. Ask a silly, stupid questions, you are welcome. 
Uh, I wish I have it in video. This is a long time ago. At that time, you know, many, many years ago. Once I called the TV station too, and look, uh, they answered me. I said, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. I said, Sallallahu you know, uh, Rasul. You know, pray on the Prophet. The second you say that, the Muslim, they have to repeat after you. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala I mean, they have to recite the whole thing. Then I said again, Uzidu salli ala Rasul. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Sayyidina Muhammad and again, suppose you know, hey brother, what you what the question? I said, and Salli ala Rasul ya Rajal. I spend like five minutes just asking them, just repeating, saying, pray on the Prophet, and they don't dare to say to me, shut up and give us the question. Who dare? They don't dare. The guy saying, pray on the Prophet. You say to him, shut up. They don't dare to say that. But obviously, I'm making fun of them. But because they are coward, nobody dare to speak to stop somebody saying, pray on Muhammad. Muhammad is God. is more important than God. He is saying, pray on Muhammad. All of them, both of them, they start saying, well, slow, 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 slow. But ask no questions. And look at them. My pal talk is open. We offer them to provide their opinion, and yet, zero. Takbir and Shakespeare and Shakespeare. Shakespeare is a Muslim, by the way. Shakespeare is a is an Arab. Al Qazafi. He said, "I'm not joking." Al Qazafi. He claimed the 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 president of Libya, the one who was killed. He said Shakespeare, as an example, they stole our civilization. Shakespeare. He is an Arab. His real name is Shakespeare. Shakespeare, his real name is Sheikh Isber. Are you sure? I mean, it's obvious. Sheikh Isber. True. Must be true. He know what Shakespeare is about, but he do not know what Allah is about. Any Muslim? <clears throat> So what, like, are we out of customers now? You guys do something. You are obsessed with our beautiful religion. Go read your Bible like good Christian. Okay, how are you, Zahra? You know, you know, uh, Zahra, the funny is that you Muslims, you make fun of us if we read the Bible. And now because I'm getting your prophet busted, you ask me to, road, to go and read the Bible. And as long your beautiful religion is a beautiful religion, what about the Quran says beat you? As long your name is Zahra, which means you are a female. Can you explain to us, Zahra, how the Quran teach the man to beat you? In America, if a person, he did beat a dog, he go to jail. In America. In Islam, in your beautiful religion, the man he can scourge you, and not only he can scourge you, you cannot call the police for him. This is your beautiful religion, Zahra. Do you want to say anything about that? People who live in America, is it true that in America, if you beat a dog, you go to jail? Is that a true, guys? Or I'm lying. Is it true if you do any physical harm to a dog or a cat or a, even, a, you know, you go to jail? Is that true? See? In your religion, you are not even equal to a dog in America. So how Islam is a beautiful religion? I want to see how beautiful that is. What happened to you, Zahra? Zahra, Zahra, where are you? Everybody waiting for you. The Prophet Muhammad need your answer. Shame on Muhammad, shame on you. Zahra, Zahra, where are you? Everybody waiting for you.
can you make a video for us how your husband he can beat you so we can learn about the beautiful and your beauty Islam through you Zahra Zahra how are you shame on Muhammad shame on you this is the wisdom of God beat your wife why who of you like to see his mother being beaten by her husband hmm this is the beautiful religion hello you see the, the problem is if I am not a Christian friends you will see them lining up calling me but I can I cannot find people that want to say something <clears throat> And by the way, the Muslim they say to you, brother, yes, brother, yes, brother. Islam, brother, says beat them, but we beat them lightly. Lightly? Let us see how lightly you beat them. Shall we? Lightly, huh? Hmm. This is a woman. Her husband, he did beat her until her skin become greener than her clothes. Muhammad took the side of the husband against her. <coughs> Look what Aisha she said. I have not seen any women suffering as much as a believing women. So women in Islam, they are the most suffering. You see, Aisha she is comparing between believing women and non-believing women. Who is the most suffering women, guys, according to Aisha? Read with me carefully. Who is the most suffering women? According to Aisha, believe in women. And what Aisha is talking about? About violence. Look, her skin is greener than her clothes. Aisha, she is witnessing, not me, that the most suffering women is a Muslim woman. Who is a Muslim when I say Aisha is a big fat liar? please don't flood the chat otherwise then we have to put you give you time out no need to flood the chat many time any Muslim want to say something who is a Muslim he want to say Aisha is a big fat liar and we Muslim women are very happy Call Louis Islam 77. Yeah, give me his uh, ID in Palto. <coughs> Anyone? His ID, Louis. Islam 77 okay this is impal talk let us see Louis Islam <coughs> all right Louis Islam feel free to call me mr. Louis Islam and be sure that you agree to be in YouTube Answer me, uh, Louis Islam. Are you there? And I don't know. I texted him, he did not answer. This hadith is Sahih al Bukhari. Hadith number 5825. Louis, are you going to answer or not? You are online in Pell Talk. I can see you. 
and I texted you already and I added you already why you don't answer Are you sure guys uh, this guy he want to talk to me? Okay, let us delete this one look like he is not going to answer uh, Who is the second one his ID Naku Bindia what kind of ID is that? <clears throat> Here we go. I texted this guy Neku Bindia, Bindadia, but they are not answering. You guys are giving me. Uh, Names from the museum or what? How come none of them is answering? Hmm? See, I texted him. I said to him, hi. He is not answering, you know. Okay, I just remove him from... I'm not going to keep any name in my Pelto. I just will add you just to talk to me. After that, I will take your name off. Any Abdul? So Islam is a beautiful religion, and it's so beautiful to the point we can beat our wives. It's so beautiful that if you divorce your wife, your wife, she have to sleep with the, the neighbor you have to do boom boom to her so she can come back to you. You see how beautiful it is? I mean, that's so beautiful. Islam does not allow and forbid. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Guys, look what Fahim he said. I mean, this guy Fahim, he he should get the Nobel Prize. Uh, CB. ZB, Islam does not allow and forbid for a man to curse a woman. Okay, Fahim, what if I show you your prophet cursing women? What you will do, brother? Huh, Fahim? If I show you your prophet enjoying cursing women, not only that, your prophet, he said, and he claimed that most of women, they will go to hell, brother, because they are cursed by Allah. Are you there, Fahim? I don't know, Fahim. He have a picture of a man in his uh, in his profile, but somehow he he sound like a three years old kid. I don't know. I would not be surprised even if he's a female or something. His his his. Uh, he use a meal so the Muslim will not harass him. Any Abdul? Your prophet, he said for men not to curse a woman. Okay, let us see if this is true or not. Let us see. Okay. Let us see the reasons for a woman to be cursed in Islam. If a woman she take hair from her face, Allah he curse her. Do you see it, guys? Abdullah reported that Allah had cursed. Already they are cursed. They do not even need to curse them. Allah had cursed who? Those women who tattooed or have themselves tattooed. And those who blocked hair from their faces. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Allah, he cursed women. 
because they take hair from their faces brother why Fahim brother do your mother have a goat beard now or she take hair from her faces Fahim with my respect to your mother do your mother grow a beard or she take hair from her face hello who is a female muslim huh? she want to prove to me that she never take hair from her face if you do that you are going to go to hell what a weird god Allah he order women to shave their vagina but he is upset if you shave your beard hello can a Muslim explain to us this logic why you can take hair from your private part but you cannot take hair from your vase hello anybody Anybody want to show us a beautiful face of his wife with beard? All of you Muslims, you never practice this. Liars. Not a single Muslim woman, she practiced this. All of you, you take care of from your face. And by the way, Muhammad himself, he used to do a Nora. Anyone knows what a Nora? Who speak Arabic here? Who speak Arabic? Who knows what a Nora mean? Huh? <laughs> Hello? Any Abdul? Yeah, the prophet he used to do waxing. Have you ever heard of a prophet? He reject that women they can take her from her hair her, her from her face. But he himself, he do waxing. Any Abdul? Hello? So what happened today? Where is the Muslims? Where is the Muslims? Oh, what happened? What is Zahra? Zahra? Zahra, be honest with me. Do you take care of from your face? Hmm? You will she know how they? She know how they? Nobody. No, you cannot send me text. You have to ask me to add you first. I cannot just open my pal talk so everybody will start texting me. I don't want to do the same mistake in in uh, in, uh, in Skype, where everybody starts saying to me hello, hi. You want me? You want to talk to me? Give me your ID. I will add you. And I will call you. I'm sound like an Iraqi. I'm black, blonde, African American from Japan, my friend. And I will tell you why I am multi citizenship. My father, he was a very good Arab who is a pirate, and he hijacked airplanes for a living. One day he was hijacking an airplane with my mother, and uh, she gave delivery for me uh, in the airplane, and uh, nobody allowed them to land. So he goes over Japan, Africa, and America, and even uh, the suicide island, which you never heard of. Uh, 
كان يا بدول people are people are worried about where I am from but nobody is worried about what we are talking about who care where I am from any Muslims wanna talk to us I'm a Muslim that's all what they know don't ask them no questions that's it I'm a Muslim. Well, I'm a Muslim. So, who is a Muslim? Actually, I like to be Indonesian. I like Indonesia, to be honest with you. I love the people there. I never been in Indonesia. I want to go. <coughs> but, uh, uh, the majority there is a Muslims and you can imagine how many Muslim will be waiting for me in the airport uh, in the chapter about the orphan it doesn't say if it's a, a female or a, uh, a male it doesn't say that you know uh, uh, because it's it's used the word uh, um, which mean orphan with no gender for the one is asking now who's a muslim when uh call us there's no muslim not a single muslim would not call us where is zakir naik where is uh shabir ali shabir ali he hold his beer you ask shabir ali a question he will he will take you around the arabian peninsula and he will come back still he is just talking about the introduction and he will never give you the answer. I added him truth about Islam. He did not answer, my friend. Okay, I will add him again. Let us see. Last chance. If you don't answer this time. All right. Okay, I text him again. He's not answering. And I will call him just for you. Actually, you have to accept me first. That's why he cannot, uh, you know, you have to accept me. All right, look like we are out of customers. Sadly. Guys, why we have only 500, uh, 595 like? Okay, let me, I will change the topic and you will see how many like I will get. Uh, we are going to talk about makeup. There's a new lipstick in the market. And this lipstick is made in a halal way. By the way, Muslims, when you kiss your wife or your prostitute, she have lipstick. And do you know that lipstick is made from pork? I mean, you are literally, literally eating pork there. In case you do not know. Do you know that? Lipstick is not made from garlic in case you do not know. It's not made from chocolate. It's made from pork literally So every single Muslim and Muslim when you put lipsticks you are putting pork in your mouth, but eh, it's halal Halal Hmm Uh, call him straight away. What call him? I just uh, I cannot call him. You have to add me. I just sent him a text. He did not add me yet <coughs> uh, 
are you guys giving me a name of somebody he himself do not know he want to talk to me because how come he is not adding me obviously he's not what about he add me and he takes me why don't ask him to add me and text me I added him from my side Sunnah Friday night Muhammad Abdul like it what's Sunnah Friday night Hey, by the way, Friday, Friday, in the Muslim, they pray on Friday, right? This is based on the hadith. The Quran, let me show you what the Quran says. Let me show you what is behind the day Friday. Actually, the hadith proved to us Islam is false about Friday. That they were asking how we can be recognized ourselves as a Muslim. One of them, he says, let us hit the bill like the Christian. Uh, they said, no. I think Omar, he said, no, no, this is what the Christians do. The other one, he said, let us uh, light a fire like the Sabian. He said, no, we want to do like the... Uh, so everyone, so they come, uh, according to the Hadith, the Azan was just a Muslim group. They are discussing what is the best. It's not Allah told Muhammad to do Azan. Then Friday. What is a Friday? Friday is the same, according to the Hadith. Christians, they took... Sunday and Jews have Saturday anyone knows why Christians they took Sunday why Christians they have the day of meeting is Sunday not Sabbath who knows why it's Sunday anyone knows Sunday because Jesus he met with his you know when he appeared he met with his disciples in that day and they gathered together right so this is about after resurrection Jesus he met with his disciples his followers in Sunday this is why Sunday was chosen to be uh, the day of uh, 